we're going to look at sorting. So sorting a list by parameter value. And this actually plays in uh, really nicely when we're looking at exporting things to Excel. So, oops, let me paste here. So let's say we have all of our rooms and I want to sort the rooms by the room number. And again, Dynamo and Revit work with everything comes out of a list based on the order in which it was put in. So if I want to sort my list by the room numbers, I have to use this recipe here. So I'm going to take my all elements of category. I'm going to connect it to get parameter value by name. And then I'm also going to connect this. Actually, I take that back. I don't have to connect that. I'm using this sort by function node. And what I do is I provide it with a list of elements, and then I provide it with another group of nodes that tells it how it's going to sort. So it's going to apply this function, get parameter value by name, and then it's going to get the number of those elements, and it's going to use that to do the sort. So let me get my watch node here. And I'm going to give this a run. And essentially, it's going to go through and it's going to sort those uh, elements. What I need to do is also get my get parameter value by name in here as well. But it's going to reorder the list. So this is useful too if you're trying to match up a list from um, one group, like inside, you know, if you're getting stuff from Excel, it's useful to resort that list. You can see here is our, let's take a look at by comparison. We can see that our list is actually, the lists are a little bit different if we're looking at the element ID. So some of them are matched. So this is probably room 101, 102. And then this is where it starts to deviate. So you can see on the left, this is the raw data coming from Excel. And we're seeing the, the element IDs here. Here we're seeing that list sorted by the room number, so the element IDs are not consistent. So if we were to do, let's go back and grab our get element parameter uh, right here, get instance parameter by name. I'm going to select, copy that, and I'm going to paste that over here. So we did our sort. Now let's plug that into get parameter value by name. We're getting the number. And let's move our watch node over here. And I'll give this a run. So we can actually see the room numbers as they come out. And you'll see that they're actually going to come out in the numerical order. And we're using this combination of uh, this function to sort them by. So here in the watch, you can see I'm getting these. These are being sorted by that number value. So I could sort a list by you know any kind of parameter value that I want. Let me just turn this, using just this combination right here. So our last part here, creating a list, all I have to do is use a list.create node. It will group all of my data into a single list. So I'm going to use this in most cases if I'm getting, uh, I'm going to just copy it over here just because I already have this kind of set up. So if I wanted to and this is actually a good segue into our next one is to export data. Let's say I want to get the number, the level, and the area of all of my rooms. So I'm going to put them here. So I'm getting those as individual lists of parameters. Now I want to put them into a single list. And that list is what I'm going to output into Excel. So if I do this here, list.create, what that's going to do is it's going to give me three lists that contain uh, one list of all of the room numbers, one list of all their levels, and one list of all their uh, areas, which isn't super useful. If I want it to be tabular because it's going into Excel, I need to use this list.transpose node. And what that's going to do is it's going to flip it. So instead of three lists of 90 elements, I'm going to end up with 90 lists of three elements. So if you think about rows and columns, what this list.transpose node is doing is flipping the rows and columns around. So I'm going to give that, let me take a look here, give this a quick run, uh, and that'll give us a good one 
to give us good data to work with uh, as we wrap things up in our Excel nodes. So this will take a minute to crank out. And again, thanks for sticking with me. I'm running a little bit late. So now you can see in the watch node, I have room one has room, uh, room number 101. There's its level, there's its area. 102, there's its level, there's its area. If I were to look at this list before the transpose, you can see here are is a list of all of the room numbers, then here are all of the levels, and then next is all of the areas. So not the best format when I wanna go out to Excel. So it's useful when you are working and trying to get data out of the model, it's useful sometimes to create that list and then to transpose it so you're looking at it in a tabular format. 